All right, skunkers, what's going on? Welcome to another episode. So, yo, I'm going to do this in a two-part series. You're going to see some footage from when we went to Antigua and we stayed at the Sandals over there. Big up to Adam and the entire team. And then I'm going to flip it after that when we got back to Jamaica and we catched up with Vijay Bola and his fast G80. Well, the fastest G80 locally in Jamaica. So, let's go. Skunk lifestyle. Yep, lifestyle. So we're just pulling in on property now. Yeah, skunkers, we're just pulling up to Sandals in Antigua right now. The wonderful Hi, Sandals. Hi, welcome to Sandals in Antigua. Are you doing? <laughs> Everything good? Yes, me good. You good too? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Hi, how are you Hello, doing? Hello, how are you doing? How welcome. You doing? Nice you. to have you. Thank you. All right, skunkers. Okay. So I will be giving you a welcome cocktail. It's called Island Time. It has in white rum. Creme de banana, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, and a hint of lime. That sounds so good. I call it your medication for vacation. Nice. <laughs> All right, skunkers, so we just pulled up to Sandals in Antigua. Warm welcome, as you can see. Just want to share my experience, my honest reviews on here. Just looking forward to see what the rest of the two days are going to be like. The food, the vibes, the service, all of that great stuff. Big up to the entire Sandals team again. Yes, sir. So welcome here. This is our signature drink. It's called Allen Time. Thank it you. has white rum, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, creme de banana, and a hint of lime. Nice. I'm going to try it now. So you don't know, just fought off for the boat a while ago. This tastes wicked. Like a nice little warm up to the vibes for the for the for the two days that we're here. Big up to Sandals. Hi Lizzie, how are you? Welcome to Sandals Grand Antigua. I'm very good. Yep. Welcome to you. Thank you very much. All right. So we're looking forward to seeing what the properties like and all of that great stuff. Thank you, yeah. thank you. All right, so basically this is our Mediterranean Club Sandals Lounge. We are open 24 hours, so you nice. can always stop on by to get anything, any services that we have to offer. Welcome to one of the most beautiful views in the Caribbean that you would have ever seen. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> yes. Yes, skunkers. So far, so good. Warm welcome from the Sandals team. Matt Neal has given us a tour of the place. So, head into the room right now. Hi! <laughs> there he is. Yeah. I can hear your voice. <laughs> Yo, you're good. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, hey. Yes. I'm good. I'm happy to see you. Look, everybody's yeah. asking if it's you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jenna, respect, Jenna. respect Sandals team all the time, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll stay there until Wednesday. Yeah. See, see. Yeah. Blessed love. It's room service, and this is the QR code for the room service menu. So you scan it with your um, smartphone. I think we, uh, I think we used it already. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was on the way back from the boat ride, right? Sharon. Yes. Or yes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. She I went enjoyed it. And already um, utilize the room service uh, menu. Nice. So room service is open from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. So you can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner via the room service menu. So last but not least is your balcony. Did you mention any of yeah, so them? Let's try on the balcony here. As you can see, you get a nice view of the garden, the fountain in the center right there. So. Peeps, so you don't know skunkers, we're going to get some grub later, we're going to get some lunch, we're going to walk around the property, show you guys what's up. I'm not making this too much of a, a hotel review, but you don't know, it's a part of the journey, it's a part of the lifestyle whenever we go anywhere. Big up to the entire Sandals team, Adam, respect, really appreciate it. You know, I want to give you guys the best review that I can. So big up, let's go. Morning time, you know the vibe. So... Just showing you my breakfast from Sandals. Just got scrambled eggs, hash browns, bacon. Nice little fruit plate right here. You get me? And this is the view what we're working with for today. Nice view out there. So yeah, soon give you guys our tour on the property. Skunkers, you know the vibe. Let's take a walk around the property now. Um, I'm staying at the Mediterranean side, but there's a Caribbean side that was here from before. So you don't know. Let's show you know what I'm going for the Sandals property in Antigua. Alright, so I heard that um, on the 7th floor I can get the overview, right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. That You're was welcome. so nice of you. You're welcome. Alright, so I head up to the 7th floor right now, right? Correct. Nice. And that will give me what, like, the overview of the property? Yeah, you get a nice view. We'll tell you lay out of the land along with the beach. And if we're lucky, we might be able to see St. Kitts. Alright, respect. It's usually out of the business. Okay, thanks. 
Yeah, yeah so I just got to the seventh floor now. Let's take a look at the property. Mad. So this is the entire Sandals property from the seventh floor. We're actually on the Mediterranean side, so Caribbean side is over there. We're gonna be walking over there, but yo, let's head down to the pool and to all the areas, different areas, to show you guys a quick look at what the Sandals property in Antigua looks like. Good vibes from the pizza. Hi. 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 Huh? <laughs> Careful, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the pizza area right here. Big up I'm yourself. Well, go on, everything good? Thing on Jad, man. Mad, big up. Big up yourself, see? Yeah, Every time. And in here is the Italian oh, restaurant oh, as well. Go on. So this is actually Mario's. This is their Italian restaurant. And in here, you don't know the vibe. You can get your pastas and all that type of good stuff at Mario's. Um, actually, had something from the junkin duck yesterday big up respect it's a pizza man so he's gonna do a pizza delivery right now come on so this is actually mario's um i know they're closed right now but i'm just taking a look on the inside so this is mario's so in the night time this comes alive this is drunken duck their um pub so i think it's open 24 hours very good and stuff. Also, so this is actually drunken duck. They're not home yet because it's still breakfast time here. But I'll show you. I look on it later. Yeah, let's reach on the to the pool area now. So before you reach the beach, you'll have to walk past the pool. I mean, definitely if you're staying on this side on right, the Mediterranean, guys, hit the pool <laughs> area before. Beautiful trees and stuff. Everybody's out here having a good time. And you know the good thing about all inclusives, right? You always have a bar close to the pool. So, heading down to the beach side now. Um, there's another restaurant down this side. But, yo, bro, what's up? What restaurant is this? This is Barefoot. Barefoot. Barefoot Barisi. So you can not walk with the shoes going right there. Put your hand <laughs> you <can>. there. <laughs> yeah. What kind of food do you serve over here? This is the barefoot. This is the barefoot restaurant, right. and this is one of the waitresses. Say hello. Hi. 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 He wants to know what kind of food we serve here. Just oh, basic items, you know. We serve like jerk chicken, jerk pork, fish sandwiches, quesadilla. We have three different types of salads: chef salad, um, for two salad, Greek salad. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Everything. And bear in mind, in the day we, we serve that, and in the in evening the night, it's we are a seafood, seafood restaurant. Nice. Yeah. So come on down. We're waiting. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right, nice. So this is the barefoot restaurant. So in the daytime they do like you know jerk chicken, all that type of stuff. In the nighttime, it turns into a seafood restaurant. So nice, like a romantic getaway for you and your other. But why am I out here in socks? But anyways, reach to the beach. Let's party upon the beach. So and, you know, just walking down, looking. I won't get my won't get my my feet wet today because I actually have on. My slides with socks, but actually over that side is the Caribbean side. I'm gonna walk over to that side, but I'll show you guys how the beautiful beach looks and the sand is very nice. Water looks good, so let's take a walk down. Yeah, so let's take a walk over to the Caribbean side, over this side. Yeah. Yo, what's up, man? All is well. All is well. Is this side the Caribbean side? Caribbean Over. side. This side. This side. Yes. Okay, and this was the first side before, right? First side before. Okay, and I'm uh -huh. over by the Mediterranean. You're in the sure. Mediterranean, open in uh, 2007. Nice. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah. So we just got to the to the Caribbean side now. It's going cause reach over to the Caribbean side now. I realize they have some waterfront like you know rooms and stuff like that. So you literally can get out your room. Boom. The beach is right there in front of you. So. You see the vibe right there, right? Can you give me a quick breakdown of what's the difference between the Caribbean and the Mediterranean side? Well, the Caribbean side, it's more, get more of a Caribbean vibe. Right. The Mediterranean side, you get more like overseas, old school kind of, yeah. you know? And I realized these are more like, like um, ground floor rooms, yeah, like ground more huts and stuff. Ground floor, yeah. make you feel like, kind of like Hawaii. In right. Vibes, ah, you know? so you jump out the room and head straight to the beach type yeah, of vibe. Yeah. Uh, respect, yeah, brother. appreciate it, man. It's gone because you don't see what I'm going. You just have to show the beauty 
of what Sandals is doing over here in Antigua. I mean, big up to Adam and the entire team. You guys offer excellent service. Yo, so this is cool. It says weather station. If the coconut is moving, it's windy. If the coconut still, it's calm. Coconut wet, rainy. It's kind of dope, mud. Yeah, so the Caribbean side is a little bit more I guess intimate side, some more you know boutique style. Um I'm gonna go upstairs and see if I can give you a view of the beach from here. Yeah, so I just decided to give you guys a view from up top over by the Caribbean side. You can see beautiful sun sea sun. Yeah, always oh, friendly stuff, you know. Take my body, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That is it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm Chile, that right? Jamaica. Jamaica. So you know I have a big up the Antiguan flag, flag right now, you see me? And actually on the Caribbean side, we have a dodge, right? Yes, sir. You guys do the tours, right? Yeah, Your man. Isaac tours? Yeah, man. So what do you do? Like catamaran? Catamaran, deep sea fish and everything. Nice. And how you like being on the sandals, you know? You know, we're going to 26 years now, me do this. Since yeah. 97. And them treat you good? Yeah, man. All right, good. big up. That yeah, is man. it. So this is Isaac tours. If you guys are here, you guys can, you know, lock in with the man thing, do all different kind of excursions. You get me mad? Yeah. Sandal stuff, them nice, you know. What you mean, man? go on, skunky? You safe, brother? Yeah, man, big up, man. You see a thing by YouTube all the time. Respect. Look on, look on the beautiful smiles here. Hi. Look on the wonderful smiles. This is where we at. Yeah. This is where we are. Number one resort in the world. Man, that's the best. Yo. Huh? Good to see what you're doing on YouTube, bro. Man, I appreciate that. I love that shit, man. I never seen a white Jamaican Chinese man. Yo. I don't miss it that right? My rest of rust. So we just better put Sandy here. Hi! So a lot of beautiful smiles here That's in right. Antigua. <laughs> what's, your, what's your position? I'm a lot in travel consultant. Okay, you're well there doing a good job. So, uh, yes, I am. So I hope I hope Adam sees this. That's right, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you how are you? Yo, I'm so sorry. I thought I was talking to my Asian subscribers. But anyways, big up to Sandals again. Thanks for having us. It was an awesome stay here. We leave to head out back to Jamaica. Skunk lifestyle. Wagwan. So yo, peeps, you don't know. I haven't dropped a vlog in a little while. So I had to kick back the vlogs with a bang. As you can see here, we have the fastest G80 currently in the island running a time of... Yo, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to make the owner tell you. Last weekend we went to Drag Rivals and it was off the chain and I said yo V I have to come link you because I won't get a pull in this car I mean I have my car I know what the launch is like but I've never actually felt a launch in the G80 and the time that this car runs is crazy off the chain so we're actually at Bowler's Garage today on Red Hills Road just for there to give Vijay and the entire team a link and to congratulate him on you know building such an awesome car in such a short space of time so so peeps, before we get into it, you don't know, I have to big up my sponsors. I want to big up Heineken 00. I'm recently became one of their influencers. So big up to the entire Heineken team. I want to big up Automotive Art. They're my paint sponsors. I want to big up Monster Energy. They're my energy sponsors. So you know when I'm tired, I pop up. Papa can a monster and I'm out. Big up to Grabango for always fueling us. Big up to Amzal for always giving us the top quality oil for running our machines. You see me? So let's get into this program now. Well, go on now. Yeah, you know, man at the moment. No man, you are the trophy boss, you know. <laughs> the trophy boss, the pro dog. You want respect, man. Yeah, so you back. know, say so the coach, you know. Yeah, you know, we try make everybody do the right thing and thing. Yeah. It was a good weekend for us. No, Definitely. Like, it was a good weekend. So the last time you did the interview, big up lifestyle settings. Yeah. Yeah, we did have a plan for go down and lower the BMW time locally. We kind of shatter it still with the 10-1. So you're the fastest now currently. Yeah, I take it, I take I take it back from Mark. And I think Mark will come in again, but we don't plan to stop at 10 one. We want to see if we can really get it into the nine. Mm -hmm. And that was a goal from inception. So a lot of people would think that you upgrade turbos and all of that type of no, stuff. No, you know, that's the amazing thing about these cars, you know. Literally, I have on dump pipes, a tune, and some intakes. Mm -hmm. That's it. After race me, I drop my daughter go to school. Same home I drive, come to the track, I drive, come home and drop out to school. I was in Immaculate the following morning. No Yo, wreck or nothing. I'm not going around here, you know, dog. You know, at one point when I was there, it was the Japs versus Euro. Yeah. That was yeah. the whole 
the talk. whole thing, yeah man. They've yeah. been singing it. I have it on video still yeah. um, of you running the GTR. Like, what was your what was your feeling going up against it? You know, wait, wait which one? Nick Manley, the GTR. Um, you know, I wasn't really worried about that first race with Nick Manley. Yeah. Yeah, I was more concerned about the one with Ziggy that okay. we got in the um the grudge match. Yeah. Yeah, man, that was a that was a good race. I have an idea of what Nick's car would have run all out yeah. from prior meets. So I figured if I got the reaction and thing, I'd, I'd have that one in the bag. You know, when you're going in the class, you have an idea of who is the person you have to look out for. GTR Skyline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Mizzle is another one. Yeah. I can tell you this. I've been racing, me and Mizzle used to buck up in different classes over the years. And I could never beat Mizzle. This is the first time I beat Mizzle. Yeah. So it's like when we did win the race with Mizzle, it wasn't even about the time. It was just the fact that I beat him because he's an OG in this. So I'm mm. come see. So it feels good for no sir. I finally beat him. The red car, E36. Yeah. E36, actually, though, um, a 10 7. So it actually beat. Mark's time also, because Mark would have been disappointed if I didn't use that red car yeah. and beat his time. So that did 10 7 0. So that, beat, that had beat his time. And then Ricky, everybody asking about Ricky. Talk about Ricky now. Yeah, man. You yeah. see, Ricky lift up, leave people, and people don't know he's a pilot in real life. So when he said V, buckle down, we're going to take her. That video, bro? Yes, man. Yes, man. It's been a long time coming that we've been putting in work and we're seeing, we're seeing, we're seeing what we want to see now, finally. Mm -hmm. So, it's a All good right, experience. so overall, you know, what's your whole, uh, you know, what's your outlook on the BMW camp? You've, you've been an avid BMW um, representer for over the years, you know, like how you feel about, you know, seeing the, the improvements? Mm -hmm. Well, when I just started this, you know, literally it was just me and Ricky. Yeah. That's why I said Ricky is day one. And it feels good when I come now and I look and I see so many BMWs going down. And all of them that are there are competitive in the classes that they are and the rounds that they're going through. Mm -hmm. And most important, they're consistent. Yeah. And the people driving the cars to the track and driving the cars back home, mm -hmm. problem free. You have one full day of racing and you drive back home. That right there, yeah man, that's, 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 that's what we like. There was a grudge match that was supposed to take place between you and Corey. Right, that I did pay the money and, and thing and yeah, we had that two go, I actually have a clip of it I got insert right now. Yeah, you, you can't... Uh, towel. You are going to need roll by towel for whoever pull by. Yeah, water. So yeah, sure. water, we get that damn blood, you know? Yeah. Corey. <laughs> you say, Save you say, you uh, Are you make the call out, you know? No, no, no. Vijay yeah, did that. Vijay so did hold a on, friend Vijay call. say you make the call no, out. Man, no, man. Vijay, no, Vijay, Vijay made the call out, yo. And we were like, all right, fine. Ziggy said, yo, tell me if you want it this month or next month, so. Oh, so Ziggy said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you made the call no, 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 no. Let me give you the, yes, big, please. Ziggy, big up yourself, yeah, yes, Let me give you the, the chain, right? Yeah, man, tell me what go on. Make a call for Seth. Yeah. Just walk back and run off of the head. Okay. No call yeah. Let me get the bad man message. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the bad man message. Let me message. get the bad man message. Yeah. We don't want to follow it up. Yeah. Say, dog, bad. Yeah. Let me get a call, say 100,000. And I say, okay, remember the one? Yeah, which is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. so okay, I'll make okay. accept the 100,000. Oh, so that's what happened? Correct. Okay, okay. Man. Correct. Well, I mean, the long and short time. Because he says you call him out, you know? Yeah, but I wasn't the one that did the call out. No time at all. I got a message. From somebody yeah. saying that he want the red beam of food yeah. and 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 all type of things, and I remember even going as far as he said, you know, you can't give me no tough chat. Ziggy can because Ziggy drive the car and beat me. Yeah. And this whole thing originally started by me just asking for a rerun, nothing to money, nothing to grudge, no call out, nothing. Just me link command and say, yo, Make try get back. Up. You get what me I say? And yeah. then I was told that they want hundred thousand, and guess what? One hundred thousand want the sorry. I was told that they want the red BMW and they want the red BMW for 100,000. Yeah. So strength of cash come into something that would have been a free race. Yeah. I did my part, I give them the $100,000, but then um, prior to the race, they said that the race not going to happen again and they gave me back my 100,000. 
And I mean, I never make a big deal about it. I'm because just, normally the rules is if you don't. Show I mean, you. if I was to hold the rules to him, he should pay me the hundred thousand because the rules are this. Yeah. If your car breaks, fifty thousand dollar. If you don't show up, you still pay the hundred thousand dollar. That is why we had actually locked the money in prior to the event, okay. so that if somebody do come, them still get them purse. Mm -hmm. But again, as I said, I never made a big deal about it because really and truly, I just really wanted the race. It wasn't about that hundred thousand dollars that was introduced in it, and it wasn't me that did that. Yeah. But we went out there, we had a good time and yo Ziggy big up yourself bro. We got an awesome race. He got his personal best, I got my personal best, and at the end of the race, anybody will see me and Ziggy with up one another, big up because it was a good race. And that's the thing that I realize a lot of the racers nowadays is like if they lose a race, it's the end of the world to them. I mean that's racing, you, you cannot win all of your races. Definitely. Yeah, and it's an important thing that people need to understand that you're gonna lose a race. If you lose a race, don't shy away. Let's brush off and come stronger the next meet. The last meet I went, them wrestle were now. Ziggy chopped me out of my clothes. Yeah. I, or I originally wasn't planning on running the R32. It just ended up that he wanted a grudge. And I said, let's do it. And it was a good race. Yeah. To me, that was my best race of the day. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was my best you race. You know, of speaking, the day. Of, speaking of, because you know, we talk about the wins and we talk about yeah. the losses. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going with Bebo and the 134, bro? Red out. 134. When the man launched, you know. We decided on one another. I knew before we went into the race that he had no second gear. Yeah. So when I we, we got second and I see him drop behind, I start skin my teeth in the corner, bro. No yeah. lying. I say yes. I catch him. <laughs> And then I look in the, 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 the mirror and I just see that car just going somewhere. Yeah. And when it started doing that, it just never stopped, bro. It never stopped. I mean, people saying to me, say, boy, if you never break, I didn't break. Yeah. I went right through and as I hit the second cone, I pressed the brake. So that's why people think that I pressed the brake before. Yeah. But I could have done nothing other than what I did and Bieber would have still win. Big up Bieber, the machine fast, but we're still one to one and I don't want a rematch this time. Yeah. But good. I want you to give me a. Um and, and even the viewers, because mm -hmm. you know right now, I tell you, you have basically the fastest street driven, on paper, mm -hmm. the fastest street driven um, BMW right now paper. currently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, after the event you and I were speaking, I said, yo, you jump in your car, you leave the truck, you didn't change, no tires, nothing, mm -hmm. you drop, you drop, your daughter to school in it. I'm a drive on the bad road, come back here, no problem. My lip intact, my suspension intact, everything good, same way. So what would be your review on these new cars? Overall, you know, all right. I can compare to my red car and I do that comparison all the time. You have to do so much more to the older cars to do the same thing. Yeah, that these just come and I mean, as I say again, you know, bro, intake, a downpipe, and a tune. And I'm knocking at nines mm -hmm. with a tune revision right now because this whole weekend I've been racing, I've been on a base map with a tune revision. I know I'm going to push over into the nines, but it's not like it's going to be a nine one or a nine two i just want a nine second pass and i hear people saying if you run nine 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 or or, or ten nine nine is not really ten or nine that's foolishness if a man run ten nine 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 him run tens and if a man run nine 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 him, him run, run nine. nines yeah. so that argument need for us get out of here yeah. yeah 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 man trust me bro machine sweet you know we have to go for some pulls for the, for the for the skunk i want to tell you we can take two log and show you how easy it is no cable no nothing like that we just connect for phone we take two pull we take two log that just automatically upload and we wait and possibly well we wouldn't be able to find maybe a quarter mile run because close to close yeah. to we can find close to it all right well this is my first time actually running in a you know a tuned g yeah g yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know you, I know you were you, you, you yeah got experience with the um the m4 yeah g82 and the, the, the green one that you did the yeah but i've never actually been in one that you know was unlocked and like this yeah yeah man and yeah. also be like anybody that wants the, your assistance them can always show it to you right yeah man people know that about me you know that i mean i'm a person where many other racers who do specialize in BMW that if they get a BMW they call me for advice and one thing them always will tell you my advice is free mm -hmm. you know I'll give you the advice I mean sometimes I'm busy you know if I'm busy and you call about something like that I have to tell you say you know I'm busy you know I can't just sit down and just do that all the time but for the most part there are a lot of people that I give information and help I don't hold back the knowledge at all and I want to give a big up to Rick Rick are the teacher and me are the student because you can never be too old or too big to learn yeah and a lot of little things about this vehicle rick was able to help me and tell me M -life. Sir, yeah man and new york 
I have to big him up every time. If I message him now, he might go reply yeah. me. If I video call him when I have him problem, he might go call me. So I have to big him up for that. Yeah, I have to big him up for that. I have to big him up for that. He don't hide the information either. Him, you ask him, he might go give you a piece. You know how it goes when man hide yeah. information. No, man, he might give you everything. I'm rate that about him. Well, I will tell you this on camera, off camera still. I'm going to tell you all the time. So, yo, I'm happy to be a part of the family now. Yeah. You see me, the vibe did mad Sunday. Yeah. You see, we, we went out, we represented and stuff like this. Is, this is not just geared around the bima but just the camaraderie and the vibes mm, and mm, the mm, energy isn't it mm. so yo me could go for some pulls in on the machine you know all right bro yeah feel for a machine like this so you know you can drive i mean i i i, I kind of have a basic idea of it but i mean yeah because you're going like send a machine you have <laughs> man them learn that sunday you know <laughs> 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 i did that don't know so hey you know one thing i realized nick you see going into the meet when we're telling said the beamers come in and you know we plan for run some time and things there's a lot of noise you know yeah. a lot of people saying this and even some bmw people they must say you can't do this and that after the meet is quiet i don't quiet. hear nothing you know you hear cricket actually yeah. let's insert the crickets right now but don't, <laughs> don't hear nothing and i feel good yeah. <laughs> you know i feel good i mean i'm peeps look out now the car that's coming for table driving around and these roads aren't like the the smoothest of smoothest roads and the car just feel nice mm -hmm. suspension i will tell you i don't even rub the lips since i put it on well here i don't talk too soon isn't it no as in what i realized with the g is still the g higher okay it actually is higher so like even when i was going out by run and feel a thought that the lip would i get certain scratch or certain damage on it yeah never happen uh, must be a joy though for now so you have a, a 10 second street machine bro I mean, we well, know the Porsche come like that, you know. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, the I mean. Porsche with the box is like ten and a half yeah. or something like that, you know. But for now, this is how it is now, bro. I can just jump in it. I'm gonna tell you still why the Porsche wouldn't appeal to me. I'm a family man. I have two kids. Yeah. You understand? So this to me is the ultimate car for me, which is a sports family, so, car, so, family car, yeah. and it's good. It's comfortable. It is, you know. Yeah. That's 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 about where it's at. I mean. It is what it is, bro. So your aim is to get this car a little bit well in the nine. I just need to see the nine. The goal with the red one was to get it into ten. Yeah. And the goal with this one is to get it into nine. Right. And as I said, over and over, I try and set goals that I can achieve. I don't set unrealistic goals where I say, oh, I want this car to run eight. Not that it can't run eight, but that's not my goal. Yeah. There are other people that are about to reach eights with this car. Yeah. And um. That's good, but that's not one of my goals right now. So mm -hmm. people would say, yeah man, and if they will start doing nothing to it yet and this, I kind of want to keep it like that. Yeah. Simple, fun. No, don't overcomplicate the things. I feel nice, you know man. I'll tell you another good thing now. You, you, well, you know about it. So it's so nice and quiet, can we cruise in and everything comfortable. Yeah. And then you just press the M button, man. And you yeah. go so boom. It exhausts right away. Yeah. Yeah. The valve them open. Yeah, the valve them open. Trust me, we're not telling a lie. No, so this is this my goal, you know. Yeah, targeting to be. Yeah, man, this is my goal, Talk bro. Targeting to be. I forget one, trust me. I mean, love the fuck out and just drive up to the track. Well, I mean. You are in the weed that you speak about. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's, you have to understand that I'm still, I'm still at a M, you know. And this is a M, like, it's a different. Yeah, I understand you know, about M. In a M. sense. A M340 is a very potent car that will put certain M cars to shame. Well, well, well. <laughs> you know, you know. I mean, it will, put, it will put some audit to shame to still. <laughs> Yes, I. Or yourself, man. 
next burner maga nicer, you know? Yeah man, more people plan to come out. Yeah man, next burner maga nicer. And Kenty already making changes to, 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 to facilitate a bigger, better, smoother running event. Yeah. That's one thing I like about him, you know? Yeah, man, see, every meeting, he, yes, him find something and him achieve it. And you're gonna see faster times because what he's planning on doing now is to get the whole track surfaced. Yeah. I, I'm not surfaced, prepped. Normally yeah. he preps through, through to the 60 foot. He's gonna prep right down. So all those cars that run in some amazing time going to be running some even more amazing times bro Definitely. yeah so so my go we actually get the official launch now in the GA to you see me so yeah man you want to set your seat yeah cause yo you know <laughs> see my neck whiplash look like coming like me get whiplash bro yeah man all them G's from that four wheel drive launch yeah alright tell you what we'll get try the first I tried to do a little burnout. Yeah. Warm the tires a bit. Yeah. It was just this, because this is rear wheel drive mode. Yeah. Warm the tires a bit. Is that all traction? Ah. So let's, let's go back to four wheel drive now. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Different animal, you know? Yeah. But the whole of them are animals the same way. Boom, bad dog. So, we're running, you, you'd you say, how much power? Not power, but like, what, what, what? Man. Bro, I just tell you, this car is the ultimate. Yo. The ultimate. Skunkers. Bro. I have to get one of them carrier. I don't say huffy, I say huffy. <laughs> Trust me, the machine is smooth. Smooth, like, I love, don't get me wrong, I you know, love pies, you know, but you can just feel like this, the, the, the suspension on this car is different. It just have a more, have a more control feeling, but you know, says a machine, it's a run. Dog. I feel no say you can drive this every day, so. M1, M2. No, man. Oh, everything quiet now. No, I'm all alive. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, as I said, still, this was a, a goal that I had set for myself that took me almost one year to achieve. I'm achieving and feel good. And then, upon achieving it, I had a goal with it to run the time. Yeah. And I'm right there. I'm at 10 1, and the goal is 9. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <sighs> Lifestyle, let me tell you something. So I'll give you the comparison between my car and this car, like I said before. The M340 is a machine, don't get me wrong. But this, it just feels more controlled. It feel, it just has a more, um, I'd say, sturdy feeling on the road. Like my car float a little bit more than this. This is a real machine. Just to even how it launch, the launch in it's smooth. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nick Lowe, the great Nick Big up, man. I first came to the level, I said, this up. <laughs> Bad man. Big up man. How can I have for? Um, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Big up. Yeah man, they carry, they carry a machine peeps. Man, I tell you, and V, man, I tell you, bro, keep waving the BMW flag high. Man, I tell you, like, right now, BMW, if you're watching this, we need some support. Some form of support, even at the track, isn't it? Yeah, man, no, I, I actually am actively looking for some sponsors to come on board with the BMW brand that we promote, you know? Yeah. So, um, it's something that we're looking into now because to, to carry all of the, the cars and the group of us and things, sometimes... It costs, man. Yeah, man, and, and, and it's a good look for the brand. Yeah. So that's why we do it. And everybody and we have people that want to join it because, let's just say, it's not just about the cars and the speed, you know? Yeah. There's a unity in our group where if a man there, a mobi needs need something where they are town, him call one of us and then get it and vice versa. If we need something down there, we call one of them and we get it. So we have that unity right now. We don't want to lose that. Yep. We don't want to lose that. And what kind of tires are you running on currently? 
I have our Nitos front and rear. The Nitos are um, the Nito Inivo. So street radials basically. Yeah, the back one is the NT55R. That's a little bit secure. They're both 100 treadwear, so yeah. they're not just regular Michelin Pilot Sport tires, but these do well. I decided to run these as opposed to a full slick because these do well altering. Meaning, yeah. if you're in the rain, you can drive it and you don't have to worry. And if you're on the dry, it go hook better. So you'd consider them more of a summer tire. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, man. Peeps, so you know the vibe already, you know. I'm going to close out the vlog shortly. Um, I just had to come and capture some footage of this machine and I wanted to actually feel it for myself personally. Also, I'll be going to Formula One this weekend, all courtesy of Heineken 00. So, you know, I'll be dropping that vlog episode next of the journey of the vibe, you see me? So, I think V1 actually do a little burnout in here before we close out the vlog. You know the vibe. Steams. Shot vibe. is it skunkers is it me and i just met v close out the vlog right now yo why is that close out the vlog bro that is it my bro just good vibes bmw is with brand everybody liking what they see come join me come on pluggy join me zine we out <laughs>